Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure that notification bell is switched on just to be notified of every single time that I upload. Do you like my natural makeup today? I thought I'd add a wing which is not something I typically do. And also I've got MAC Ruby Woo lipstick on. I've never tried it before and I absolutely love the colour. Um, I did also just test this, the Revolution um, Ultra Blush Golden Desire palette. Um, so that's why maybe both my cheeks look a little bit different. I'm not sure when that review is going to be up. If it's going to be up before this or after. It's probably going to be after. So if you want to see what that palette is like then definitely stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed now for today's video i'm finally getting round to doing my june buys i literally was gonna wake up on saturday and film this video so this video is literally going up a week than i anticipated but i did wake up to a swollen under eye so I could not film for like a few days. I do explain in my vlog. I do have a vlog channel now. Now, If you didn't know, I'll link that down below. But I did explain in that vlog that I had a little bit of a sty, I think. And like the a lower lash line of my eye completely swelled up. So for like three, four days, I had a complete break from YouTube and filming and things like that. Feels like forever, but I'm finally sitting down and filming today, which I'm very excited about. And yeah, a couple of you guys have been asking me when I'm doing this video. I'm very sorry it's late, but let's get into my June buys. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have a lot in this video. Not as much as previous months. I have, again, cut out all Revolution stuff. I think... I'm just going to do a massive Revolution haul and every Revolution product I haven't hauled I'm just going to do in a huge video. It might even be in a couple of parts, I'm not really too sure. Um, just because I must have ordered so much Revolution stuff last month because I honestly thought I ordered way more than this but I literally went through my whole like collection pink box like three times and this is all that I could see that were brand new and I always refer back to my old videos. Um, but yeah, this is literally it. It's not going to be a lot. Okay, firstly, I finally completed my Made by Mitchell blush, like liquid blush collection. However, he has just come out with the free summer shades and I am going to pick those up at some point. Um, but I did collect the original collection he come out with. So this is the shade Rosy Posy. It's definitely more of like a deep pink kind of shade it is very beautiful um and i love these the peach sugar shade is definitely my favorite so i just had to smell it and smell it and it doesn't smell of anything um the peach sugar shade is my favorite i actually thought this was going to be my favorite this is the one i actually wanted the most but it was the last one i got very odd that was just the you know which ones i could pick up first i, I picked up i think all of them majority of them on depop um this one i picked up on depop I think I paid about £8 all in for this, like an absolute bargain. Um, so yeah, I finally completed the blush collection, like the original one, and I'm definitely going to pick up the other three shades maybe soon, maybe in the next week or so. I don't know, but I absolutely love the formula. It's absolutely brilliant. I did get one of the liquid bronzers as well, but that will be in next month's um, haul. Okay, so Alex was definitely a Sample Beauty fan last month. I actually picked up two palettes. So firstly, I picked up this plush palette. This is what it looks like. I have done a full face of first impressions where I included this palette. Um, I actually picked this up on Depop with a couple of uh, other items that I'll show you in a second for an absolute bargain. I paid like £18 all in for three items and this alone I think is £18. Um, so this was one of the items got in the bundle and this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Just for this row here, I am in complete love with it. Like it is gorgeous. I loved the look I've created. I'll definitely link any videos relating to any of these items down below. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this palette. Sample Beauty are just so underrated. I don't understand why because their palettes are such good quality and they're really affordable for an indie brand. And then next I picked up the latest palette. Um, this is the Blooming Lovely palette. 
and this is what it looks like i've done a complete dedicated video to this and it's absolutely gorgeous i love the i love the colors in here i feel like they're a little bit different to some of their sample beauty palettes before they they've definitely done a lot of rainbow palettes but i just think this one's so gorgeous there's so many greeny yellowy tones in here and i absolutely love it um yeah with this i did get some freebies i got some sample beauty uh single pans which i'm just gonna throw most of them in my giveaway box and then also this like mixing medium product but it's also works for loads of other things i don't really know um but yeah this is the blooming lovely palette okay let's just get p louise out of the way because my goodness did i spend a lot of money on p louise last month so firstly i picked up this bad boy their newest palette release this is the all i see is signs palette and oh my goodness this is absolutely gorgeous i have done a whole video on this how could i not still got in the box don't know why this is the packaging of the palette it's absolutely massive and then if you love your warm tones you are gonna absolutely love this so this is what the palette looks like um it's definitely got some beautiful yellows and oranges and reds inside and i'm gonna be honest guys it is amazing quality and if you don't mind spending a little bit more on your eyeshadow palettes i want a very good quality warm toned eyeshadow palette then you need to pick this up i have just recently found out on the p louise um facebook page that she's actually discontinuing a lot of her palettes she's discontinuing the sandwich stages cancelled weldy uh, the love tapes um and the secret sinner so the cancelled and weldy which are my favorite palettes by p louise are actually on sale for 25 pounds at the moment so if you've always wanted to get them I highly recommend picking them up like now before they sell out um so yeah that's a quick side note on p louise but this was her latest release and then i also did get the budget box which inside the budget box was the little pink all i see signs palette so because of that i picked up the blue one i am still yet to pick up the purple one but i'm probably going to get that on payday or something i'm not really in a rush i still haven't done a video on this one um so this is the talk is cheap palette this is what the packaging looks like of the palette and this one is so gorgeous this is absolutely stunning like oh my goodness how could you not want this palette it's just freaking adorable um these are actually 17 pounds each which is not too bad to be fair i think that's a quite a good price um and p louise has the one pound shipping offer at the moment so again if you want to order on p louise take advantage of the one pound shipping okay and then as you saw in my budget box unboxing not the one i've just uploaded the one before that i actually got the yellow base in it the from the new all i see is signs collection so i got the other two i said i was going to collect the other two and i definitely did i actually got this one for free um with the blue palette because of a certain code i had to enter at checkout because i'm part of the p louise facebook page seriously guys please join that page on facebook you get so many like perks and so many like early access links so yeah actually got that one for free which is amazing and then i've literally just bought the pink one which is pa plaid it's not plaid it's paid in pink uh this is the color here i bought this off one of my patrons i probably should include this in next month's but i thought while i'm showing the majority of the collection in this video i might as well just show it in here sorry i didn't even show you the green one this is must be the money how stunning is that color and since collecting those um new paints i realized i don't have all the crisp finishes i have the baby pink one which i've used a few times i have the light nudie orange one and i think that was it i just had them too so yeah gal went on depop picked up this one this is the shade salty af this is one of the blue crisp finishes pick this up on depop from absolute steel i think it was like six pounds including shipping so i thought you know what i'm just gonna get it um these crisp finishes same formula as the paints they are more of that thicker formula so you can use these for like cut creases or like liners and in your waterline and things like that like these are so versatile i love these and then another depop buy was the gray one this is the shade nice and saucy um do i see myself reaching for this one a lot not really but do i want it so i had the whole collection absolutely um so again i think i picked this up for about five six pounds on depop these are like 14 pound 50 rrp so absolute steals i don't think i've bought any 
P. Louise base item full price. They've always been like on sale or on Depop. I'm just such a bargain lover. I can't help it. Um, so because I'd picked up those two, I thought I would literally had like four um crisp finishes remaining, and then I was just scrolling on my Instagram. I think I was even in the doctors. I was like literally looking on my stories and I saw someone I follow on Instagram was selling like most of her P. Louise stuff because I think she uh, just couldn't afford to do makeup and stuff anymore. So she was selling like her whole Chris Finish collection and I asked her and I was like, could I have these four? Because you know, they're like the last ones I need to collect. And I bought all four of these for 25 pounds. And again, these are £14.50 each. Like, yes, they come with a brush, but I like I have a few of the brushes. I don't need more of the brushes. I literally just wanted the crisp finishes. And yeah, I couldn't believe my luck. Like, what a bargain. £25 for all four of these. So we have the shade Sexy Chili, which, fun fact, I have actually owned before. I owned it when I did P. Louise's Beauty Boxes, maybe... I think it was last summer or something the big boxes and it came in it and i was like i'm not going to use it so i just like i think i sold it to jody actually but i have it back now in my collection um i also picked up the red which i was very excited about um this is the shade flaming cracker and who doesn't love who doesn't love who doesn't love a good red when doing an eye look i picked up the like dark browning nude which is called smoking hot look at that shade beautiful and then the last crisp finish to finish off absolutely every crisp finish and every paint in my collection is the shade sweet and sour and this is a beautiful dark green i definitely need to do some tutorials or some more looks with these i have used the crisp finishes and stuff like that quite a lot i do mainly use them for like cut creases or if i want like a nice beautiful color like liner or something i'll reach for them um but again if you want to see a video on them please just let me know and i can do like a little tutorial on like how i use the p louise bases and crisp finishes and things like that okay then so with that plush palette i also got these two items in the bundle so firstly we have one of the sample beauty liquid shadows um this is the black one um in the shade intense i just thought i might as well add it to the bundle because this was literally a pound a pound i couldn't resist i could not resist it was a pound so i was like Do you know what we're gonna put in the bundle i have got the yellow and the green one so far and these are actually really good i did test the green one in my video where i tested this and the single shadows um so i thought i might as well pick that up as well and then she also had this which is the huda beauty chocolate brown obsessions completely brand new and i think it was about 10 pounds and for a brand new huda palette <laughs> a tenner is an absolute bargain that's how much i've been getting all my other ones for a tenner so i just thought yep yeah, we're gonna get this i only have one more to collect now which is the I never forget i never remember the name of it what is it called you have toffee chocolate caramel it's the caramel one so if i see that one on depot for a 10 or whatever i'm gonna pick it up but i mean i haven't even done a video on this would you want to see a video on this you gotta let me know obviously not everyone likes to shop secondhand but personally as a makeup collector i pretty much collect a lot of my collection secondhand because i am a high-end makeup lover however i don't have the funds to constantly buy high-end makeup so buying it on depop and secondhand just makes it a little bit more cost effective for me shall we say also went a bit mad for benefit last month to be honest with you i absolutely love benefit but they don't release products all the time so it's not a brand i often buy from a lot because obviously they don't launch all the time like revolution and things like that but i did pick up a few items um i firstly picked up the new hula glow um this is what the packaging looks like this is just a shimmery version of the hula bronzer i think the girl on depop had literally used it maybe twice or three times and i got it for like 14 pounds all in so i was like yes please it costs like 27 pound rrp and i just think for the sake of someone only using it a couple of times i'm definitely going to pick that up i don't know do you just want to see a video on this it might be a bit too late now it has been out for a little while i might do a tiktok on it instead just because tiktok's obviously a lot quicker a lot easier to sort of upload and things my tiktok username is 
down below in the description if you do want to go and follow me um but yeah so that's the hula glow very excited about that and then not sure if most of you are aware but i am a look fantastic affiliate which means i do have like an affiliate link and also an affiliate code with look fantastic so if you use my code or my like link i do earn a little bit of commission if you buy through it um and basically i think i do explain it in this benefit video which i have not uploaded yet i will get that up soon um but basically in january when i joined um i got an email like a month later and said you are part of our like silver membership so here's a 30 pound look fantastic voucher and i was like oh my god that is insane so thank you so much to absolutely anyone and everyone who ever uses my links or uses my code or anything it absolutely blows my mind i had the voucher i've had it I had it for literally like six months before i even used it um i just thought nothing's really come out in the past six months that i really wanted to use the voucher for and then benefit come out with these they come out with these face palettes I picked up one of them um, in the shade Fire Queen. This is a fluoroscope um, face palette. As I said, I have actually done a whole video on this, reviewing it. So that video should be up soon if it isn't up before this one. Um, but yes, yeah, so I picked that up. But I also picked up a top of my Hula Light because I have been meaning to get a new one of these for months. I've literally run out of my old one. The only t the only place I've got them now is in palettes, but I do want it in like a separate packaging because this is honestly one of my favourite bronzers. Um, so I literally paid like 23 quid, including free next day delivery, which is a voucher included as well for both of these. And I think I had like £2.50 on my glossy credit, so that's why it went down to 23 quid. 23 pounds for both of these in free next day delivery i was like yes please i do also want the first palette of these um however i'm not in any rush because i do have three out of four pounds of that already whereas this one i literally only just own the hula okay so i picked up um two glam crystals by collection the shades sunset pink and violet haze this is what they look like um i did also pick up the nabla bronzer with these have i shown you this before in a buyers i can't remember but i also got the um nabla buyers which i did again use in my full face first impressions sorry if i've already showed you this but i've got mine like sieve um this is in the shade amber a very beautiful bronzer expensive but a beautiful bronzer um so yeah i picked up these two as well because i just thought i'm already paying postage and these were literally like a pound for both of them so i thought i'd just throw that one in there for one of my patrons rebecca i picked up the becca backlight priming filter um since make up missa absolutely loved this i mean she don't really rave about it that much now because obviously becca are closing down um i have wanted to try this i am getting in kind of into my glowingness products like you know my skin's not the greatest i definitely do get my acne which stops me from using these types of products but the becca um priming filter i looked gorgeous on mrs skin so i was like you know what i'm gonna try that and with that i also picked up the Too faced pressed powder which i use in my full face first impressions can't locate it i've got no idea where that is um i've rummaged through my collection and my pink box and cannot locate it so yeah if you want to see that in action, go and watch a full face first impressions. Speaking of cannot locate, um, I picked up from Morphe the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Um, and I also picked up with the order the li liquid. This is not liquid. This is a colour pencil in the shade Linda. This is just like a red lip liner, which, side note, have got that on underneath Ruby Mac Woo. No, M Mac Ruby Ru. What? mac ruby woo lipstick this one i've got this lip liner on um i can't locate the sponge where do these things go like i just don't understand like i just don't get it like hello where have you gone to like it's not in my drawers it's not in the pink box like help me i don't know um so yeah i got the sponge with them but obviously cannot show you sorry if i'm a bit of a hot mess in this video i feel like after i take a break it takes me a little like a few videos to actually get back into the gist of filming again and i just feel like i'm just not making any sense um okay what else have we got so two faced born this way translucent powder i absolutely love this powder i have 
been avoiding using my own one because I had a tiny bit left for months and months and months. Like, I honestly can't remember the last time I used it because I'm always scared of things running out. And because it's expensive, I know I've got to re I've got to pay for it again. But my best pal Carly, she sold this to me for a fiver, and I was like, yeah, go on then. A bloody fiver for a, a full sized born this way powder like hell like that there's hardly anything missing in this like okay okay so i know ofra have had a lot of drama recently but any ofra that i have bought recently including something i've got to show you next month have all been second hand so my money just as quick side note have not directly gone to ofra and i will not be purchasing directly from ofra in the future um i got this on depop second hand because i've wanted this for ages this is the samantha march blush duo in the shade chiclet it's one side a matte blush and the other side a shimmery blush um so yeah this is what i got from depop again absolute steal think i paid about a tenner for it maybe which is an absolute bargain for ofra absolute bargain okay i think these are the last couple of items see what i mean like this this is not normal for me usually i have way more than this um but i actually picked up a couple of things on morphe as well like brushes i did also pick up another brush but it's a single brush and i have a feeling i may have put it in my eyeshadow pot um but i picked up another one of one of my favorite jacqueline hill brushes um hello where do i open this this brush is the jh06 brush oh, how gorgeous is this and this is the most amazing like blush or like maybe bronzer brush ever it's so soft and fluffy oh my god it's so good this brush is so expensive but it, i think it was over half price or maybe half price i think i paid about six seven pounds for this and that's good for this brush because normally it's much more than that. Um, I love my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. And yeah, this one is just so beautiful. Again, another Make Me Up Missa influence. But I mean, she was not wrong. This brush is absolutely gorgeous. And if they do another like brush sale, definitely recommend picking this up. Okay, and then did I need any more eye brushes? No. Did I pick up a set of them anyway? Yes. So this little bamboo set, I think it is, um, it just had like a few, I haven't even got these out of the packaging yet, I think because I was waiting to show you. So let me get them all out of the packaging and you can see them. Turns out I was helping myself out and I actually put it in this bag. So I picked up a Morphe M321 brush and this is quite like a domed small like, pencil brush which will be good for like the outer crease as well um yeah so i love morphe brushes so i mean i'm probably never gonna stop buying them and then this is the little set that i bought i think it was about 12 pounds and i just thought for the price why not i got another small little um domed brush another flat brush a big fluffy one um an angled brush with a spoolie a like straight edged one a, another big like more rounded fluffy brush and then like a more i tell you i'd use this for like the lower lash line so yes i'm very happy with that absolute bloody bargain so that is everything that i picked up in june barring all revolution brands i literally flicked through my videos to make sure that i wasn't missing anything and the majority of reviews i uploaded last month were all revolution so i think when i have the effort and time i'm just going to do a massive collective like revolution haul if you still definitely want to see that let me know down below so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button please let me know down below what did you buy throughout the month of june and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye